the economy growing. Even though the numbers today indicate we are out of the recession, the lack of job growth continues to be a major challenge. What can or should the government do to help? Joining us from Capitol Hill is Republican Congressman Kevin Brady of Texas. He sits on the Joint Economic Committee of Congress. Congressman Brady, thanks for joining with us. If there was one thing that um, the administration could do or should do, in your view, what, what would it be? Get out of the way of the economic recovery, announce that we are going to, on a path to balance our budget. I think those are the two biggest issues. You know, the, the numbers today, growth is good. We like that. But the big cautionary note is that most of it, most of the growth, was from one-time events, the cash for clunkers program, and businesses really drawing down almost the rest of their inventory. That's not going to happen again. And uh, the worry, of course, is that disposable income, what people can really, what they have to spend, is down 3%. So demand's not going to pull us out. Government is just a temporary fix. The big question is, if we've hit bottom, which would be great, are we going to improve or bounce along the bottom? And that just depends if the private sector can be the driver again of the economy. It's a good point, but uh, I hear a lot of Republicans talking about, uh, oh, we should have more tax cuts. And there were some tax cuts that were in the stimulus plan, but the, the problem that a lot of economists have with tax cuts is, as you know, there's no guarantee that if you give somebody a tax cut, that they will actually take that money and spend it in the economy. They could put it in their bank, they could hide it under their mattress, they could spend it overseas. Um, aren't there certain limits to what, for example, tax cuts could do? Well, people don't like gimmicks, and I think because they know all this spending is going on, they're convinced they're going to have to pay for that debt in higher taxes down the road. That's one of the reasons they're saving. I think businesses, one of the reasons they're delaying a lot of key decisions is that there's so much uncertainty in Washington about cap and trade, health care, increased taxes on just about everything. So they're not willing to risk that capital to create jobs. Another reason why I really think um, the stimulus has has had very little to do uh, with these numbers and I think because we're now so government centric that it's hard for businesses to assess the risk going forward. Another reason I think the government needs to get out of the stimulus and in the spending business. In other words, do you think that um, I, the stimulus has had uh, no effect? I mean, there are a lot of people who would argue that, well, maybe it hasn't uh, saved as many jobs as been hoped, uh, but a lot of people say the economy would have gone off the cliff in the wintertime uh, had it not been for the stimulus. I think it's had, to be fair, I think it's had minimal effect. The reason being, it's so small and so slow and very unfocused on jobs. When cash for clunkers at $3 billion can do more than all the rest of the stimulus combined, it tells you something about the stimulus. I don't want to get you in trouble with your caucus, Congressman, but are you, are you making an argument for a larger stimulus? No, not at all. I just think <laughs> that was a political stimulus, unfortunately, not an economic one. All right. Congressman uh, Kevin Grady, Republican. Uh, Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Good of you to join us today. Thanks, we appreciate David. It. Appreciate it. You're welcome.